Hi, I'm Josh from Hayes Machinery, and today we've got another product video for you. Most customers ask us when they come into store, what's the difference between a mulching ride-on, a side discharge, a cut and collect, a zero turn, and a high grass mower? Well, today, I'm gonna to answer that for you. And most specifically, we've got the Alco range here in store, um, and we're gonna go through all the different types of ride-ons they have in the catalog. Right, big question is, where is Alco produced? Alco is a German brand. It's made in Austria, so it's got good strength and heritage behind it. They do two different ranges. They do the comfort range, like you see here, and the premium range, which we'll talk about in a moment. Basically, Alco ride-ons come in three forms. Side discharge, cut and collect, with a mulch option, and a high grass mower. So we've got one of each of those products in the shop here today, which we'll be talking around. So this is the first model. This, by far, for a small domestic collector is absolutely fantastic. It's got a huge engine underneath the bonnet, which produces a lot of power. So really, really good, good collection results. This is a T16-93 HD. This comes with a 16 horsepower V-twin engine, 93 centimeter cutting deck, and it's hydrostatic drive. So we'll look under the bonnet, huge 16 horsepower engine. So driving a 93 centimeter cutting deck is absolutely fantastic. You've got a lovely premium seat here to sit on and hydrostatic foot controls. So you find with a lot of the premium ride-ons on the market, hydrostatic is the way to go. Gone are the days where you used to have a manual transmission where you lift your foot off and you go flying forward. This one is variable speed and it's so easy to do. Literally push forward and backwards on these two pedals with your foot and that will give you a difference in speed. You take your foot off and you stop like a neutral position. The T1693 comes with a 220 litre grass box. To put it in perspective, a normal push mower will be around 45, 50, 60 litres. So, you know, you're looking at about six times what your normal push mower will have in capacity. Nice and easy to tip the grass box. Pull up the lever here and from the seat, you can tip the box like so. Nice and simple. Drop it back down again and you're ready to go. We'll unhook the grass box and see what's, the, what's behind. So behind the grass box, you've got a uh, grass box full indicator here, which will basically indicate when the grass box is full. So you sat on the seat, the cutter is running. This will basically have grass sat on top of it. This pushes down, and this then gives you a bleeping from behind the engine unit, which then indicates when you have to empty the grass box. You can also adjust this, the sensitivity on this one, by pulling this one out. So if you're cutting really long wet grass, um, pull that one out and that will basically give you a better indication of when the grass box is full. There's also facility on this one. There's several different attachments. You can get a roller, a spreader, a trailer um, to go behind these. More than powerful enough to pull a small trailer of logs or, or grass clippings or leaves or anything like that you're clearing around the garden. And you can actually get a hitch kit to fit on the back of this as well, which is fully supported, not a little tiny silly little uh, hitch on the back here. It actually fits right on, right onto the frame. So nice and strong, that one. With all hydrostatic ride-ons, it's key that you know where the hydrostatic levers do. This allows you to disengage your drive if you need to push it for a, a reason like you had a flat battery or broken belt or anything like that. So a nice one with these ones is take the grass box off, pull that back, that's now in drive. And it tells you here on the, on the uh, sticker, but if you need to push a ride-on, push that in and it drops down and then that easily allows you to pull that back and forwards. Although this machine is just cut and collect as it is, you can actually buy a mulching attachment for this one. These are what these little hooks are for. No swapping of blades. Literally, it's a plug that you slide down into the chute and you put the two bungee straps onto here. That then converts the machine into mulch. I'll show you that on the premium range because that is a standard feature with that ride on. So the T1693 comes with LED lights. Also, very, very easy controls. Got your throttle here. So full throttle for mowing. And your choke for cold start is here to pull it out. Push it in once it's warm. Easy ignition key here. That turns your lights on. Turn it to fire up the engine and back to off. And you've also got a reverse button here, which allows you to basically mow in reverse. With most ride on mowers nowadays on the market, this is the safety feature. Push this in, this allows you to mow in reverse, so your cutter blades don't cut off, 
then when you're going back into normal mowing mode going forward release this and it'll allow you to carry on so you've got a really good tight turning circle on the t16 perfect for getting around trees and obstacles in the garden and a very light and smooth steering as well the 93 centimeter cutting deck on the t16 93 comes with two anti-sculping cutting wheels it's got five hole position which allows you to basically move this up and down those holes to give you varying height control when you're cutting low at the ground. Typical Devon Gardens, never the flattest, so it's always a good idea having these on. Um, and then it will allow you to basically, the cut deck will lift up and ride over any high spots in your garden, saving you any damage to any blades or belts on the machine. Really clear and concise controls. Seven heights of cut from 20 millimeters up to 80 millimeters. Like so and your blade engagement nice and simple just on this switch blades on blades off easy to get through nice large opening and underneath the seat quick adjustment for different users so you feel more comfortable like so right as we're looking at the whole range of alco today it's worth noting there is different engine sizes and different cutter deck sizes. This is both in the comfort range and the premium range. This is obviously the T1693. They also do a T16103 in this style, which is a slightly bigger cutting deck. The only fundamental real difference between the two is obviously the size of the cutters um, and the grass box has got gas struts on it. So it's very easy if you find it hard to tip a grass box you push a button on the back end of the machine and the box will open up just like a boot of a car. The full range of ride-ons that we supply can be found on our website hayesmachinery.co.uk. On there you can look at the specs, product videos, all the accessories that go with each machine and you can also purchase them. So going back to the Alco range, in the comfort range they do two side discharge machines. They do the T22 and the T15. We've got the largest of the two here, the T22, with a 111 centimetre cutting deck. This is side discharge mulch, so there's no grass collector on this one. Fundamentally, you're cutting your grass a little bit more regular, but you're putting the feed and nutrients back into the ground. This is mulching. Side discharge, if your grass gets a bit longer, or you have areas like paddocks, or anywhere like that that's got slightly longer grass, you can chuck the grass out the side of the cutting deck um, and obviously you can leave your grass longer as well. The features are the same as the T16, nice sloping bonnet, premium seat, height adjustment, blade engagement, throttle controls, key start, but fundamentally this is a side discharge machine. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to convert it very quickly into mulch. Right, so this machine has got a handy storage feature for its mulch plug. This one here, pull out the pin, Pull it off that and pull it out. There you go, that's your mulch plug. We're gonna take it around the other side of the machine and fit it on, show you how easy it is. Right, so this really powerful machine is inside discharge mode at the moment. Perfect for long grass, orchards, paddocks, where you're just gonna chuck the grass out the side and let it rot down. But if you've got a more formal lawn and you wanna mulch with it, it's very, very simple to put that mulching attachment on. Obviously, we've taken it from the hold of the other side. So to fit it on, we lift up the flap, Slide that in, make sure it's in that side, push it down, put your clip in, and let your flap down like so. Don't need to take the flap off, which is really, really handy. So there's no bolts or anything like that, just one clip and it's in. And this will break up the grass and chip it up really, really fine and put the nutrients back into the ground. Absolutely perfect if you're looking after a manicured lawn. It acts like a fertilizer. If you've got a lot of moss in the ground as well, um, the breakdown of grass releases nitrogen and this in turn will basically kill off any moss that you have in your lawn. Obviously it's very good to have scarifying and, and everything else you do during the year but this is another way of helping reduce that moss in your lawn. Back end of this machine, no grass box, that's the big thing you see with this one. A tow hitch can be fitted on which is obviously available from our website and you've got your hydrostatic lever just like the T16 model. Pull that out for drive Push that in if you need to uh, freewheel the machine. So this is the V-Twin Alco Engine 22 horsepower that's fitted on the T22 111 machine. So it's a big powerful engine for this size cutting deck. The other model they produce is the T1593. So that's a single cylinder, 15 horsepower, 93 centimeter cutting deck. With all Alco ride-ons, it's always easy maintenance. 
easy to get to your oil, easy to get to the fuel, and the battery's just under the steering column. Right, so this premium tractor is completely different to what we've been talking about already. As you can see, from the premium design, it's a squarer, more aggressive bonnet. You've got larger wheels, a more comfier premium seat. It's all upgraded. This particular model has got Chevron tires, so if the ground is rough or you, it's very sodden with water, it's gonna give you a lot more traction. You've got the high grass deck on this one, so if you're cutting paddocks or orchards, absolutely fantastic, it's gonna power through that and not block up or clog up. Right, as I said, this is completely different to anything else that we've already been talking about. This has got the high grass mulching cutting deck. So, it's got an open front and open back. That allows long grass straight in. It's got three crossover blades on this cutting deck that allows for mulching, especially of long, wet, paddocky, orchard sort of grass, um, especially stuff that's overgrown. It means you won't clog it up. It will just pass through the cutting deck, be munched up and straight back out the back again. You've got nice protection rails here. So if you are going through long grass and you don't know what's about, especially tree stumps or anything like that, you can have a nice bit of protection there, stop any damage to the cutting deck. As you can see, nice thick steel as well. And you've got the anti-sculping wheels, just like the side discharge and collecting machines. With all premium tractors, they come with a tow hitch. So this one here, that's bolted straight on the back end of the machine already. And you've also got your hydrostatic lever, which is hidden in behind here. That allows you to basically freewheel the machine if you need to, put it in drive. To be able to push it around the garden. Right, really clear controls again with the height adjustment. Seven height adjustment uh, categories there, all the way from 90 mil down to 30 mil. Push in and select the height of cut you want. Nice and simple. So if you need any specifications for any of the machines we supply, please click onto our website or alternatively give us a call and we'll be happy to answer any questions. Now I've got two premium collectors here now. I've got the second largest, which is a T20-105, and I've got the T16-95, which is the smallest premium collector that Alco produce. Right, so what's the difference between the premium range? Well, fundamentally, it's the engine size, cutting deck size, and the features that come with it. So this is a T1695 HD V2. Now the numbering system with Alco is so simple to recognize. T stands for tractor. The next number is the horsepower of the engine. The next number after that is the size of the cutting deck in centimeters. So this is 95 centimeters. 0.6 is the version of the tractor they're now on. HD, hydrostatic drive. V2, that's the engine. So that is a V twin engine. They also put single cylinder engines in, which might be A for Alco, or might be completely blank for Briggs & Stratton. So the T16 has a pressed steel axle, and the T20 has a cast iron axle. Now, why cast iron? It's a stronger, harder material. So it means if you've got really rough ground, then the T20 is a fantastic bit of kit for you. Right, so moving back the machines, the fundamental big difference between these two is the size of the wheels. So you've got standard size wheels on the T16 and you've got oversized wheels on the T20. These are more aggressive tread, that will give you better traction and a smoother ride. On all Alco premium tractors, they also come with a 310 litre grass box. That's about 100 litres more than the comfort range. Again, really easy to tip this one. Pull out the lever, push down like so and tip. So this exact model comes with the electric tip. Right, let's look under the grass box. So the main difference with this machine You've got your tow hitch and you've got your mulch plug in there at the moment. So I'll show you how to take that and put it back in in a minute. And I've also, you've got your electric ram, which is around this side with the grass box tip. Now this can be retrofitted to any of the premium range. If you don't want a machine of the T20 size and you want something like the T1695, then certainly we can fit that on for you as well. So with all the premium tractors, again, we've got the hitch as standard and we also get the mulch plug. So it's really simple to take this in and out. Undo the bungees. 
and slide the plug out. That's now in collection mode. Put the mulch plug back in, slide the mulch plug in the chute. And put your bungees back on. Right, so we've got really easy seat adjustment here. Pull up on that rod, slides forward and slides back. Little feature here, easy to get to the fuel cap, lift up that and you're into your petrol. Another fundamental difference between these two models would be the gearbox. On the T20 range, they put a professional grade transmission unit into it. So obviously if you're using the machine for larger areas, more demanding use, then certainly a T20 is gonna be a higher grade machine for you. So what's this lever here? This is actually your cruise control. It's fitted on the T20 range, but not on the T16. Just like a car, you can set your cruise speed by depressing your pedal and locking this into position. So again, premium LED lights, turned on and off by the key. And this is by far the best feature. This is your gin holder for a sunny afternoon. So there we go. That's the range of Alco premium tractors. Different engine sizes, different cutting capacities. If you've got any extra questions though, please give us a call or log on to the website. If you like this video, please subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and like our Facebook page. Thank you once again and we'll see you in the next video.